So once we have created the project and it is here, now what I need is let's let's write some code and we all are excited for the first code in Scala, right? In fact, I am excited to tell you that. Uh, so what we'll do is, now if you, if you are from Java background, you know how to create a new class and how to write hello world, right? And we cannot live without hello world. It doesn't matter which language you learn, maybe C, C++, Java. The first code you write is always hello world. But in Scala, what we'll do is, I mean, we'll write hello world, don't worry, okay, we'll write hello world. But we'll not write, see, if, if we write hello world in C programming, what we have to do? We have to type, uh, hold on, what we have to type? We have to type uh, hash include, we have to mention, oh, be with me, okay? So when you say in C programming, the way you write, you write, your, uh, you write your code is you have to write hash include, then you have to say stdio.h. Right, and then we have to mention a main function. Then in the main function, you can write printf. And in printf, you can print hello world. Just imagine how many lines of code we are writing here. Can you see that we are writing hello world? How many lines of code we, ha we have there? Now, when it comes to Java, what we do? We create a class, we create, we, let's, name the, the, let's say the class name is uh, demo, we write public, static, void, main, right? And then we'll say string a. Then what we do next, we say system, we say system dot out dot print ln. We say hello world. See the only thing I mean, just to print hello world, we have to write so much of lines of code, right? So when it comes to C programming, we have to write five lines of code. When it comes to Java, we have to write again uh, six lines of code. Is it six? Yeah, maybe. So six lines of code, right? Now just imagine if you want to do this in Scala, why to write this stuff this much of code, right? Because this is a boilerplate code. Now what happens is when somebody says, okay, let's say. Uh, I'm going to my native place next month and then let's say in my native place I have my cousins there. Let's say they're from different field and they say, hey Navin, what do you do? I will say, okay, I'm a trainer. What do you teach? I teach Java. So they, if they ask me, can, can, you, can, can you explain me one example in Java? I will say, okay, fine. Of course, I will start with hello world, right? So what I will do? I will tell them, okay, we, first we have to create a class demo. Uh, what is class? We'll see, we'll see later. Uh, then we have to write public, static. Ho hold on. These two things uh, we'll see later. Then, we'll, when, then we write void main, that we'll see later why we have to do that. Then we have to create a string arguments, that we'll see later why we do that. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about system.out.println, we'll do that later. And that's how you print hello world. I mean just imagine just to print hello world, we are skipping all this thing, we, we are not talking about all this stuff, right? So trust me, as a Java programmer, as a Java trainer especially, it's, it, I find it very difficult to write the first code. It's very easy, once you know the first code, it is very easy to learn Java. But just imagine that instance of teaching this part to a fresher or to the person who don't know Java. So what Scala says is, why to write all this code when you can do it very easily? So in Scala, Scala provides, if you want to teach someone Scala, don't go for all this stuff. What you can do is you can create a worksheet. Now how to get a worksheet? Right click on your SRC, say new, there's an option of Scala worksheet. Now worksheet, uh, let's let name it anything, we'll say this is demo, finish. And your worksheet will have this extension SC at the end. Now this is your worksheet looks like, again, just ignore this part, we'll not use this. As I, as I mentioned, we'll not talk about any anything. Uh, now, your Scala provides you something called as REPL. Okay, uh, again, forgot the full form of that. Let me just check it, the full form of REPL. REPL stands for, it is read, eval, yeah, so it is read, eval, print, loop. So it is, uh, it is something where you just have to type the line so because it is normally used for interactive top level languages example if you type a line if you type a line it will give you the output instantly okay so let me joke let me just go back to my eclipse now how to achieve that for that we have to use again we can do that here there's no harm in that what we can do is we can just go to window uh, show view we have an option of scala interpreter so if I click on Scala interpreter, they can see it is asking you for the project. Okay, I'm working with first project, click on OK. Now this thing here is a Scala interpreter. Okay, I will not use the worksheet which is provided. Let me use the interpreter. Now how do we use it? To use Scala interpreter, you just have to click on this area. So this area is your typing area where you will type your code. I don't know how to increase the font size of this. Let me just increase the font size a bit. Uh, do I, that's very, you know, this is the only thing which I hate about uh, Eclipse. We have to, to, just to edit the font size, you have to do lots of stuff. 
Okay. Hey, we got the same size. I don't know how to increase the font size of this. That's weird. Um, I just hope you can see this font here. Let's let's. I'm assuming that you can see the font. So what we'll do now is let's create a let's print hello world or let's create a variable which prints hello world. So how do we do that in Scala? We simply say okay. Let's let me just print hello world. We'll say hello world. And once you want, once you have typed it, just say Control Enter. Can you see that? Just write hello world. You got your output here. You just have to type the type this stuff here and say Control Enter. It will give you the output. We got our first code of hello world. It is that simple in Scala. Just write hello world in double quotes. You will get your thing. If you write the hello world in single quote, will it work? Let's try. Yeah, you can see it is giving you error. So the only way to write hello world is by using double quotes. And as a Java programmer, we all know how to put string, right? That's our first code. Can you believe it? We don't have to write any bullshit code which you write in Java. I mean, all this thing, uh, sorry for those words, but you don't have to write any of this uh, boilerplate code here, right? So that's the awesomeness about, uh, about Scala here. And how do we create variables in Scala now? So to create a variable, normally when it comes to Java world, how do we create variables in Java? So, okay, by no mean, okay, uh, for especially for Java people, by no mean I'm saying Java is not good. Come on, I'm a Java developer myself, I'm a Java trainer, I love Java. The only thing is Scala has lots of features. It's just that I'm showing you the importance of Scala so that you will get motivated. Okay, by no mean I'm saying Java is bad. Okay, I love Java. So let me just come back to here, come back to this. So how do we create variables in, in Java? We say int i equal to nine. That's how we create a variable, right? And that's how we assign a value. Now, when it, when it comes to this i variable, you can see the first thing you're saying is int. You're not saying i. You can see that the first thing which we are saying is int, not i. That means data type is more important than variable name. That is in, Scala, that is in Java, right? In Scala, what it says, first you have to mention var and then mention the variable name and simply assign the value. You don't have to specify the type. It is okay if you, do, if you don't specify the type. If you say enter, you can see it will automatically detect the type of the variable, which is int. So you can see we got nine here, we got int. Okay, you don't have to specify the data type to work with it. But it's a good practice to specify data type, right? Because Java is strongly type language or type safe language. We want Scala to be strongly safe. Uh, oh, what I'm saying, strongly type language. So what we can do that is, let's say, let me get one more variable. We'll say var j. Now, how do we specify the type? Let's say num. How do we specify the type here? We'll say colon. So we have to specify the var keyword. Then we have to specify the variable name. Then we have to provide a colon, which will specify where we specify the type of the variable, which is int. And then we'll say seven. Now again, you might find it a bit difficult initially, but trust me, once you once you write two or three codes, you will be very comfortable with, with this code, this syntax. Because Scala believes that variable name is more important than uh, than the data type. Java data type is more important than variable name. In Scala, variable name is more important than the data type. That's why we write data type on the right side and variable name on the left side. And to to execute this, simply say Control Enter you get your output. So this is the statement and that's your output. So we got num int 7. Now, how do you perform actions here? Mm, okay, let's see how to perform action. So what we can simply do is now we have two variables, right? We have i and num. So we can say i plus num. So when I say i plus num and control enter, you can see it is it is added both the elements. So we got 9 plus 7, which is 16. Okay, this is this is R E P L. Okay, this is you can write statement by statement. It will give you the output like an interpreted language. Okay, but later on we'll see how to create classes because see somewhere in your mind we have the concept of classes, object, variables. We'll come back to that. But I want to show you some advanced thing. That's why I'm showing all this all this stuff to you. That's how you that's how you create that's how you add two values. Okay, we can perform multiple op operations here. We can also say i into num. It will give you the multiplication of it. Uh, how to print? Control Enter. We got the multiplication, which is 63. 
uh, what else we can do here uh, yeah, that's how we can perform the operation now we can also create a string variable let's say I want to create a string variable as my name so we'll say var name equal to Naveen Reddy okay we can also specify the type of it so we can say after name we can specify string and so that's how you specify the data type we'll say control enter so you can see we got a string which is Naveen Reddy here again if you can if you cannot see the font size here that's okay after this after this uh, video we'll type all the all of our code in the uh, worksheet above okay so yeah that's how you do you assign the you assign the value to a variable so that's how you create a variable okay and yeah so that's uh, that's your second video where we have i mean second coding video where we have talked about how to how to use worksheet how to create variables how to perform action in the next video we'll try to explore some more features in scala like constants and all the stuff so that's it that's, that's from this video make sure you like the video if you liked it let me know if i'm able to teach you scala properly and give me your feedback on this so that's it thank you so much